what is up YouTube, IDM here, and welcome back to another video. So we're gonna take a look at Prism and Magma Evo. Now I've never done a dedicated video on either of these two tweaks, but they allow you to make your control center pretty damn cool. So as you can tell, that is my control center. Normally you would swipe from the upper right and you get the stock control center, but Prism allows you to set it to like the lower right and swipe up. I think Apple should really do this with Control Center because it is so convenient on a max sized iPhone. Um, but yeah, we're going to talk about Prism. Now, I'm not going to go over every single setting for Prism because it's kind of, you know, if it's something you want, then just play around with the settings. But I'll show you more specifically the settings that I'm running. I'm also going to talk about Magma Evo, which has allowed me to colorize prism to the colors I you know want to use and also an application that I use to come up with the colors so first off for prism um, you can see these are my settings basically so if you guys really want to mimic this look you can of course just copy all these settings um, but to take note on here I have uh, these presentation styles um, all disabled I do have a module count of four I changed my corner radius for everything in Prism to about 12. So if you guys want the blockier, more of a boxy look like this, uh, just change your corner radius. Like I said, mine's set to 12 and I think it looks really nice. My presentation gesture is the lower right. I am right-handed, so that's very convenient for me to use that way. Um, again, interface card corner radius is set to 12. Module corner radius set to 12 as well. Um, I don't have any indicators being shown here because I have those turned off. My appearance is set to dark mode only so that when I switch between dark and light mode, it will not change my control center. My module configuration is weather, connectivity, power, sliders, media, and toggles. Of course, there's other um, modules that you could put in there. Like if you wanted your reminders in there, just drag and drop it up there. Very convenient the way that this uh, is set up. So that's my module configuration. I have real actions enabled. I have haptic buttons enabled. I have rounded sliders and then slider haptics. And again, slider corner radius, again, set to 12. I have media progress. I hide the route, which is in the media player. So it doesn't show you, you know, what it's going to, which I don't usually need because I normally know where it's going. Um, rounded progress, again, artwork corner radius set to 12. And then you do, you do have the ability to have quick toggle settings, uh, pages. I'm not using the pages. I'll just leave that at one actually. And of course, to change any of this stuff, you will have to do a respring on your iPhone. Um, but that's basically my settings for Prism. Like I said, I wanted to go over that with you guys. So Prism is pretty damn awesome. I think that's the way that Control Center should be. Now, like I said, we're going to talk about Magma Evo as well. So this tweak allows you to colorize your control center. This works for the stock control center and also Prism, which to me is extremely nice because I love being able to customize the colors of Prism. Now you can go through each module here and customize all of the different colors. And this is something you just gotta kind of play around with. Uh, you can change the button styles too. So if you want glyph only, that's what glyph only looks like. I kind of like that, but I think I'll leave it on regular. So as you can see, the buttons change there. And of course you choose each button and you can adjust the color. But now colorizing all of this stuff can, uh, can be a little frustrating sometimes, especially if you don't know what color palette you wanna use. Uh, so that's what I was going to show you guys, uh, an application that I like to use when I'm trying to come up with maybe a specific color palette that relates to the theme. Now I have it open here. So this is uh, Aurora. I did do a review of this application. I'll leave a link for it in the description if you guys want to check it out. Uh, but basically what it, let me go ahead and kill it from multitasking here and then reopen it. So what Aurora allows you to do is we can go to the left section here. And as you can see, I can actually point my camera at stuff and it will tell me, you know, what color it thinks it is. And uh, another thing you can do is tap the little photo icon in the upper right, tap to add an image. You can take a screenshot of your setup. 
you can click the three dots in the upper left and then colors from image and it will show you all of the dominant colors found in that image so this is all of the dominant colors of my setup so i do have that brown there i have some of the greens as you can see there um, and then for the connectivity toggles i went to the blue color and then it gives you color palettes based off of just that singular color and these are the colors that i'm using right here for the connectivity uh, the connectivity toggles so really quite slick how it works now to transfer these colors into um, magma evo i'll change my airplane mode so what we'll do is we'll go back in here and uh, i guess we could just choose a random color out of this palette i think i'll do the orange so here's that orange color i can click this copy button and then i can copy the hex code i can hop back into uh, magma evo i can do airplane mode go to hex and then you tap and hold on the hex code you can delete it and then you can paste in the one that you just copied so there is that orange color and then i have changed it to that color so when i enable airplane mode as you can see it makes that orange color now keep in mind that um, there are two different states for these toggles there's the enabled state and the disabled and you can switch by tapping it and then of course you have your background color too another thing that's nice is you can favorite uh, certain colors so if I wanted to favorite this orange color, I can go to favorites and click plus. And now I have saved that to my color palette. So I can access that exact same color uh, for something else. So that's very functional as well. And you can basically go through and adjust all of these colors. So here is the, the weather module, uh, the power module. I haven't changed the color um, media controls. As you can see, there's the colors that I have set up there. And uh, it's, just a, it's just a really cool tweak that goes hand in hand with Prism. And also the Aurora application is just so handy for getting specific colors. I absolutely love this application. Uh, if I were to switch out um, to another setup like this one and then colors from image. So here are the colors from this image or at least the dominant colors. So again, if I wanted to make maybe a custom palette uh, that might look good for you know prism through here I could do so by selecting on that maybe like something like that one you know you basically just play around with all these colors and you can come up with something that might look really really cool you can get exact colors of icons by hovering over it so if you want an exact color of an icon uh, you can do that and it's just a really great way of color matching um, you know your your prism toggles with magma evo to look really good with the setup I think that the way I have prism set up for this icon set looks really freaking good uh, and if you guys are curious about these icons video link will be in the description but uh, that is prism and magma evo and that's how I like to use them hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely throw me a thumbs up that helps me out a lot here at the channel and if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future don't forget to click that subscribe button this has been Jeremy and I will catch you guys in the next one later